Okay, so we've learned what types of files we can bring into Holoplay Studio. And now we're gonna go over playlist functionality and what you can do in the actual playlist. First things first, if you click individual items on your playlist, um, like so, then it'll automatically display in your looking glass when you've selected them and they're highlighted. And then if you right click on an item, you'll see that some editing tools are available to you, including export, which we'll go over in the next video. So I'll skip that. Duplicate, edit length, delete, and rename. To show you just um, something cool in this list, something that I find really cool, I'm gonna duplicate this item, my self-portrait, and then I'm gonna rename that item to say, instead of self-portrait duplicate, it's gonna say self-portrait zoom. So what I'm about to show you highlights a feature that I think is really cool about Holoplay Studio, which is that edits that you make in the properties panel and in, you know, when you go into the actual display and you, you frame it and you crop it, they persist until you go back and edit it again. So what I like to do is if I have a hologram that I really like, but maybe has a different perspective that I want to showcase, I'll duplicate it and then change the, the framing or the cropping or the depthiness and so on. And so that really adds a lot of dimension to, it adds a lot of dimension, third dimension to your already awesome hologram by um, allowing you to just duplicate it and add, add more. The next thing I'm going to go over is edit length. Um, so you just right click, hit edit length, and then you can go in with your keyboard and type in the length that you'd like to play. And edit length is really important when it comes to the playback functionality in the playlist. So if you go down to the play bar, you'll see that it's pretty standard. It's play, skip, and then you can loop, meaning that you can loop the item that's selected in the playlist. So you'll see that I hit loop here and on the cat biggie. And until I hit loop again, this will loop infinitely forever and ever. And then of course you can skip backwards too, not just forwards um, as you can see. Another important thing to note is you can reorder items on your playlist. So if you are trying to showcase your work in a particular order or your photos in a particular order, then you can take and drag the items on the left in that kind of that six button uh, little grid. If you drag that up and down, then you can reorder your playlist. And that ordering will stay the same. So if you sync it, which we'll go over in another video, then that order will stay to, that order will be on your synced device uh, in standalone mode. And then of course there's delete. I don't wanna delete anything, so I'll just duplicate and then delete. And as you can see at the top, there's also um, the same edit functionalities and playback functionalities that you can access at the top of the the bar, the Hall Play Studio bar. One more thing to note is you actually can't edit length on video, which makes sense when you think about it, but maybe might take you by surprise if you don't know beforehand. You can't you can't edit the length of a video. You can only edit length of static media, and when I say static, I mean uh, non MP4s or Web MPs. So that was playlist functionality. Again, please like and subscribe if you really enjoy this content and you want us to keep delivering you more. And stay tuned for the next video on exporting holographic media from Holoplay Studio.